Hi, everyone. Eddie and I thought it would be an interesting idea to tour through Galveston and check out all of the tree carvings that have been done there over the last year. And to help us do that, Today is Jim Phillips, one of the artists, and one of the. You were one of the first carvers, weren't you? Yes, I was. We did the first two. Okay, so how did all this get started? There's a woman by the name of Donna Liebert down in Galveston with the Galveston Tree Conservancy, and it was her idea that all of the trees that had been killed by the Hurricane Ike. Uh, be carved into sculptures and she persisted with the city and was given the opportunity to do two to start and she selected me to do them and um, uh, since then there have been a lot of uh, private commissions and uh, other artists have gotten involved and there's there's I think 25 of them or so down there now. They're gorgeous. Who are the other artists? A guy by the name of uh, Earl Jones who lives in Texas City and the um, and Dale Lewis, who came down from Indiana, and did, actually Dale probably has most of them down there. So tell me about those first two carvings that you did. What are they of? Uh, there's a Dalmatian and a fire hydrant. They're uh, spewing water out, and those were requested by Donna, actually, um, for the fire department, which is right next door, because um, they are not allowed to have a Dalmatian in their, um, their building there, and so she wanted to give them a Dalmatian. So is there anything special or different about carving a tree that's actually still in the ground as opposed to a beautiful piece of wood that you've got on a table? The tree's in the ground and it's supported and um, you can hack on it without it moving around. So it's, um, it's easier in some respects than small pieces. So how do you feel about all of these carvings? Uh, they're all kind of like little children. Um, I, all of the, the um, commissions and Donna as well became great friends and uh, I go down on a fairly routine basis to hang around and bask in the glow. There, <laughs> there are but there's tour buses going around these things now. Yes, it, it's, I know. it's unbelievable. And um, I like to go down and sand and refinish some of them if they, they need a little care. And, um, and I can't help but love you know, people coming up and freaking out when they find out I'm one of the artists involved. It's been great fun. So, do you have a favorite one? Um, well, yeah, I do, but it's 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 not mine. Uh, my the favorite one that I did uh -huh. is uh, the angel and the the bunnies, I think. Or or th there's also a, a pelican with a fish in its bill that I kind of like. But my favorite one was done by one done by uh, Dale Lewis, and it's a, a couple of um, uh, cranes. A very beautiful composition. It's nice. Great. All right, now we know you're an artist and you do work off of commission. I mean, yeah, you are commissioned to do an art piece. So what's your website and your phone number? You can find me anytime at www.inshoresculpture.com. And, um, and I answer my phone at 713-252-5987. Thank you, Jim. Thank you.